I am uh, formally announcing my retirement effective immediately, July 2nd, whatever works for HR. Um, I'd like to apologize to my staff. They're hardworking and loyal to the city of Urbana, and while my decision will come as a shock, it was not without much deliberation. But if I quietly stood by and acted water cooler brave, it would show that I condone this behavior and I do not. I'll not hunker down and look over my shoulder every day in the hopes that somehow I get missed and I'm able to survival shuffle to retirement as many others have. A fortune is being spent nationwide on dealing with bullying. One doesn't have to look far to find it in the workplace. We ask our children to stand up to bullies and I would be less of a parent and less of a manager of my staff if I was unwilling to take a stand. If by my standing up and taking the professional financial consequences of my beliefs, it might foster change in this toxic environment, then it was worth it. If to foster change, someone must be first, then I will be first. This is neither a gripe session nor a soapbox for discussion. The city of Urbana is an outstanding city, but if our largest investment and greatest asset, our staff, is consistently rendered impotent through intimidation, a lack of an organizational structure that embraces strong group decisions and seeks consensus without fear of repercussion, and lacks a strong moral ethic to provide protection from unfair and unjust practices, then the city will continue to stifle efficiency, hemorrhage quality staff, and fail to hire the best and the brightest. While I've always believed in being a team player and you work from within to create change, without a team, there's nowhere to work. While your vote may change this outcome, it will not change the culture, and a culture change is what is necessary for the city to reach its potential. Thank you.